Right, next, a 1972 TR750 replica. I'm only reading this off the card, I'm not an expert, of course. Built as close as possible to the factory spec of the 1972 Daytona bike. Um, that, what's happened, the Formula 750? It's called me Doctor. Doctor. Yeah, basically for the uh, Formula 750. Obviously, you know, looking at it, there's an awful lot of work gone into it, but uh, a fabulous bit of kit, uh, and not easy to obviously to replicate. No, um, I, personally, I just absolutely love that era. Uh, Formula 750, early 70s, and Rocket 3s, TZs, and what have you, and obviously these. And um, we're, we're heavily involved, seeing them out there, heavily involved in the classic scene, and I wanted something to rock. You can't go out and buy a TR. This is really my favourite one, so um, National Bike actually had donned a bike here, which is a GT, um, absolutely perfect, it was just the frame and the engine set, sitting there over in the field there about four years ago, and uh, my deal set about this, this task, so um, basically <coughs> the frame has all been modified, so it's, most of it's original GT, but uh, the top tube, uh, all the subframe and, and quite a bit of uh, modification to the headstock uh, to the original frame and obviously the engine uh, we managed to get the spec um, or the polting spec off the internet so it's been fully tuned to TR spec and I've had it dynoed it's 105 back wheel which uh, 67 standard so yes and she goes well um, we've had to to get the port timing correct Five millimeter plate underneath the barrel, and then plain five mil off the top to compensate. Um, Thirty-eight mil carbs on it. Again, twenty-four mil standard. Uh, so Alf, Alf did all the frame mods. He built, made the tank, the seat, uh, the exhaust. Was a guy called Dave Swarbrick, sort of buying a kit for him. Alf rolled it all up. Alf's made a one-off. Um, radiator but um, these are quite rare so really all of it was made literally by looking at pictures and trying to uh, get the, the right you know, look and feel of it but um, yeah absolutely love it so may i ask you bought a chassis over here and then from 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 back over there and on the on the auto jumble the price of the chassis well, i paid 800 pounds so it's about i think it's four, four years ago might be, might be five years ago. Actually, I think it's five years ago. <clears throat> so that was the engine and the chassis. Um, I mean, obviously that's a Rob North hub actually on the rear, so I could put a, a rear disc on it as per standard. That's a standard GT hub on the front. Standard, which is really handy actually. Um, standard calipers, which they did have in 72. Uh, well, I'll take the hats off to them <laughs> for using those, but, uh, but at least to try and get the original, uh, well you just can't get the original calipers that they would have had. So how long start to finish for the build? Uh, it actually took about a year. Yeah. So, um, and then my first meeting was Spa, because I, I do Spa every year, Bikes Classics, be there this year on it. Um, and that's really what I built it for, doing Donington uh, in about a month's time, the Classic Endurance, so yeah, I'll try and ride it as much as I can. Lovely. Obviously, having uh, Alpha's mate saved you a flipping fortune. There's a lot of work going yeah. on there, Alpha. Eh? Well, saved you a fortune, didn't it? Saved me a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a running, mate, please. Thank you.
How good does that sound? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, mate.